Hello, uh, welcome to our lecture. How to apply for a recommendation from Vernon in British Columbia. And here we are at the website of the Community Futures. Uh, we can see the information about the Rural Northern Immigration Pilot Program. When you visit the website, you can see that in this community website, you have the home, information for applicants, employers, the community criteria, and what to do after you arrive. Also, so frequent ask questions and contact information from the website. So, we will explore a little bit down there. We can see that they have a information for applicants. You can click here. Or if you want to refer an employer to learn more about the pilot program, you can refer to this link so they can check this information for employers. In, the, in this side, you can have the city, information about the city and the city website, and also information about the pilot from the ILCC website. So let's take a look at the applicant information. If I click information for applicants, it will take me to this website for the applicants. And basically you can see the information, the road to success for the applicants. So you start here, you ensure you are eligible on the federal program and also on the community requirements. You're gonna find employment in the community. You are going to receive an offer of employment. With that offer of employment, you're gonna apply for the community recommendation. If you get the recommendation, then you will be able to submit your PR application. And that PR application through IRCC, you'll be able to, then to get a government approval and with that approval, you'll be ready to apply for a work permit and the permanent residency, and then you will arrive to the community. So basically, the road to success on the lease pilot program based on these steps. Now, let's take a look at more information when it comes to the application process. You have the document checklist here. If you click here, you'll be looking at the document checklist. You should be able to create your profile here as a candidate and you should be able to assess the offer of employment form in this choice here. So the application process, you need to check your federal eligibility requirements, and we have already visited that in previous lectures. The step two would be to ensure that you meet the community-based criteria. If you click here, you're gonna send it to the community-based criteria. You need to find a full-time employment in the community and for that, you're gonna to need to create a profile and understand that you have to have the offer of employment form ready and signed by the employer and fill out with the information once you have that offer. Once you complete that form, you're gonna have a choice coming soon in the website. You're gonna submit that form here. And with that form, the offer of employment, you're also gonna to need to submit your language assessment results. Remember, it has to be an assessment result approved by RCC. Your work experience documentation, you need to provide also reference letters, pay a stop. Remember, it has to be, if it's another language than English, you need to be translated in English. You have to have the original document, the original reference letters, and also a notarized translation of that document. You need to provide proof of funds, bank statement, documents from financial institutions, unless you are international graduates in section, and you need to have also your educational assessment through an agency approved by ILCC. And in the next steps, then you're gonna submit the additional and supplementary information. And this is information that Vernon will uh, request in under the, their program. Previous work experience in the community, documents including pay stops, professional references, business address and contact, documents proving residence in the community in case that you live or study in the community or work in the community. You need to provide like house deed, lease agreement. You also will need to, if you have any family in the community, supply their names, address, how long they have lived there and their relation to you with documentation, of course, like birth certificate or any kind of document that can prove that. If you have family accompanying you to Canada, you need to provide their names and relation to you. And again, with documentation proving that. 
If you are currently in Canada, you need to indicate family members that are going to be added to your permanent resident application. And if your spouse has work experience in selected industry, then you need to supply their pay stop, references, business address, and summary of duties performed for your spouse. Okay. If you have traveled to the community, then you need to provide the itinerary, the hotel bill, the plane tickets, and any information, pictures, and any anything that can prove that you travel to the community, that you travel to Vernon and make a visit there in the past. If you have a driver's license, then you need to provide that driver's license, Canadian or foreign, and submit a copy with your application for recommendation. Okay. So you need to submit a copy of that document when you apply. And if you have a representative like an immigration consultant or a Canadian immigration lawyer, then you need to supply the immigration form 5476 use of a representative form. Okay. And basically, then that's the process. If you continue below, you can see the immigration representative explanation about who can be your immigration representative what you need to know before using the services of immigration representative and who can represent you. And also here you can have information about fraud, I mean, representation. What is the results of the outcomes in case you misrepresent in your application, the consequences of doing that. So this is the main page. This is the whole process. This is all the checklist that you can use in this page. We can take and explore some information, for example, if I click here in document checklist, I'm taken to the document checklist for the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. Uh, we can see here all the forms that I'm going to need to fill out with the information, the document requirements, the requirements when NOC related and the uh, skill level. Also, add every single document that I'm going to need, which are original documents, which are copies. So everything is spelled out in the checklist. So it's important for you to be familiar. One copy of this document will be included in the lecture. And finally, of course, you need to mail it to Sydney, Nova Scotia with the information for the mail. So this is the document that I'm going to see if I click the checklist. When I go for the other choice, this is when you create the profile and basically again as every profile, three active job applications at a time, like regular program. You can click there and create your profile. They have uh, currently employment opportunities in the community of, of Vernon and the north of Okanagan. And they have here a Mexican restaurant is looking for Mexican food good. You have also litigation, you have also professional cleaner. And again, once you create your profile, you're going to get your notification once uh, your occupation uh, becomes available in the website. Right now, it's a little slow, but it's the beginning. OK, so if I click here and create a candidate profile, it's going to ask me some questions that, of course, have to be true. They're going to determine if you qualify. So basically, you start with the question of English. In, is your English proficiency CLV5 of higher? And then I can click here for the requirements if I need to. I can click here for language testing. And the reserve must be less than two years old to be considered valid. Yes. Let's assume that I have my English is higher. Then the question will continue. Do you have, you need to provide a test score of IELTS, Celtic, or if it's English, or TFF and TCF if it's French. I'm going to continue. And again, it's going to be kind of interview. You're going to be answering questions, and that's the way you're going to be creating your profile. Okay, you continue. Always, it's just confirming every question. So that's the way. Are you legally working in Canada? Let's say that you are not working in Canada. Do you have enough proof of funds? Let's say that I have proof of funds. Do you have at least one year of work experience in the last three years? I'm going to say yes, I do have. Do you intend to live in the community after you become permanent resident? This is a very good question. And remember, 
you need to tell the truth and you need because the interview might happen and you need to be able to convince them that you really meant this this answer okay after i answer those questions then i can fill this information for my profile first name last name email create a password that i can remember i need to read this information about the privacy policy and then i click here and then i will continue and then after that you just finish creating the profile so important to know uh, this is interesting that this is the simple process of how to create this profile now i want to check what are the community based criteria so to find out about the community criteria i just click there i can see the information about the community criteria this is the boundary of vernon based on the description this is a boundary this area so the employer or, or your plans to leave have to be inside this area as you can see here the information about the description community futures north okanagan is right here and this is the area the boundary map as they call it so then the applicants as a requirement must meet the federal eligibility criteria as described by ministerial instructions the candidate must intend to live in the community this is in that community or we saw that the candidate must have a canadian language benchmark of five or higher in english or french for all skill levels and jobs uh, only applicants who have completed candidate profile in the Vermont website will be able to apply for a position in the community through this pipe okay so you have to to create that profile that, as we mentioned before then you need to check here for the information from the employers these are the requirement of the employers they need to meet this requirement in order to qualify for this pilot program then you have the important part for us it is the Vernon's comprehensive ranking system and it's up to 100 points and again we're going to go over every every one of these points and you have the maximum point that they can you can get through this ranking candidate language if you have more than CLB5 you get 10 points if you have family in the community again you have you receive two points for each other immediate family member residing in the community so for everybody for at least six months if you follow this information and you meet that information then you get eight if you have instead of that for point b you get one point for every other extended family member that's a different the other one is immediate family member spouse kids extended family members brothers and sisters and for those that type of family members then you get a four points that okay so if it's an immediate family member it will be eight points if it's an extended family member it will be four points based on this criteria then if you previous travel to the community and here you have the information and you stay for at least three months combined in the in within last five years you get two points if you stay over three months over three months in the last five years then you get five points okay so the longer you stay the more points you get then time residing and residential property ownership in the community so if you also have at least six months continuous period within the last five years you will receive eight points and you have an address of residence in the community and the applicants who own residential property in the community and purchase the property prior to the launch of the pilot program will receive two points so if you purchase the property in the in Vernon before the, the pilot was launched so then they can give you even two point uh, two more points okay work and study in the community with appropriate authorization it means that you came with a study permit uh, or work with a work permit so within the last five years you're gonna uh, and you did it uh, at least six months continuous then you're gonna get 10 points and if you did the same you are studying the community for at least two of the last five years you will receive six points okay and again these are we want to the next point for your spouse or common law partner if they have work experience in the following 
occupations, and then you see all the occupation here. This is the North American Industry Classification, NICE, codes and agriculture, mining, utility, construction, manufacturing, wholesale trade, retail trade, transportation, warehousing, information and cultural industries, finance and insurance, real estate and rental and leasing, professional scientific and technical services. Again, and the list continue, continue. And you're gonna get three points that okay. Work experience. If you have work experience, 12 months required, okay? A work experience. You get 15 points. The applicant age, if you are 25 years old or, or older, you get two points. If you are between 26 and 38, you get seven points. If you go between 39 and 49, you get five points. And if you are over 50, you get only four points. And wages, if the job offer exceeds the minimum of $25 per hour, then you're gonna receive $1 per hour additional, and it's gonna be cut to 15 points in total. Okay, so that's, and if you have a driver's license, in Canadian driver's license or international driver's license, then you get two points or one, depending on which. And that's the way you calculate your total point under this Vernon's comprehensive ranking system. Now, after that, you can check information about the start date, the intake period. The committee can recommend up to 10 applicants per intake period. They cannot recommend more than 10 people. They have to be 10 applicants per period. And the recommendations here, you have the recommendations about the for the community and the criteria with the wage criteria that they're gonna use. The job in the community between $20 and $24.99. And they need to see at least more than 30 points in that ranking to be considered. Okay. And of course, interviews. Applicants who apply from outside Canada must be available for a 15 to 30 minutes video conference interview. You're going to get a video conference interview. Applicants who are currently in the community may require to attend an in person interview at the discretion of the committee. So if you're living in Canada in the community, you can have an in-person interview. But if you're living abroad, you have a 15 to 30 minutes video conference. If it's a good idea for you to get used to software and applications like Zoom, and Skype, and other applications that can help you have the communication. But of course, the committee will let you know which way they will use for that. And finally, you have the definitions. And here are the definition that you need to understand about who is your made in family parents, grandparents, children, and principal applicant and spouse, the extended families, as we said, aunts, uncles, nephews, nieces, cousins, and siblings. And again, more information about working age spouse, okay? You can download this information as a PDF document to have a better idea. But this is, this is all about the website for Vernon and what you need to know for the application for the recommendation of the community. Thank you very much.